if you immediately hear about this enlightenment stuff and your only aim is to get there, to be enlightened, to see what it is, that's the ego wanting enlightenment because it's special and it's, ooh, and it's entertaining and it's novel. That's the ego wanting to get there. And because it's the ego wanting to get there, it will start looking at all of the methods and means, occult rituals. You'll start looking into people like Aleister Crowley and, you know, you start to uh, look for mystical, magical methods of how these people must have reached enlightenment. And that's the way the ego will approach it. So you start moving that way. Uh, it's normal and it's natural. It's also a filtration system, which is what's been left out of that book. Uh, it does filter out the people who are never, ever going to move away from the egotistical side of it. So once you start looking into it, as you mature, if you're a wise person, if you have capacity, you'll realise that the very thing that you are looking for through these occult means is the very thing that is doing the looking in the first place, which is your awareness. At that point, all occult studies stop for you because you've actually located your objective within you looking outward. So if you're smart, you'll start looking at methods of meditation instead. But at the end of it all, you have a damn good knowledge of a cult because of your beginnings. So it's all good, as long as you're wise. So Makes sense. Yes. Don't get caught and up in anything. Look at everything, but don't get caught up on any of it. Understand what... Uh, when you see and come across things that may be useful tools in the future, just take note that those things are there and then move on. And if in the future you ever need those things in years to come, you'll go back and you'll use it. I'm talking about, you know, mystical breathing methods and things, which there are plenty of. Different ways of breathing will shoot you into different states of consciousness. That's the real learning. If you want to learn about enlightened mysticism, um, the mystical methods of enlightenment, it, it all comes down to breathing and chi control, internal, internal mastery as opposed to external. Occultism is external mastery. It's uh, trying to create change in the world in absolute conformity to your will. That's what magic is. That's what a cult is, the hidden ways of making matter bend to your will, which is magic. <laughs>